Starting with Pro Tools 10, they added a really cool feature which allows you to be able to add reverse delays and reverbs to the clips in your session. So in this session, I've got a piano part that I want to add a reverse delay to, which oh, the way I'm going to set it up is I want the piano to echo to the left and right channels and fade in as it approaches the clip. And the clip sounds like this. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to use the Audio Suite version of a delay. I'm going to use the mod delay that comes with Pro Tools 10 and later. And because I want it to echo left or back and forth between the left and the right channels, I need to expand this plugin to show the right channel. So I just click on that little button here to be able to expand it. So here's my right channel and my left channel. I'm going to choose eighth notes on my left channel and quarter notes on my right. And I'm going to put a little bit more feedback for my left channel, which is a faster delay setting. And about half that on my right channel. And then the next step is to make sure that you have create continuous file selected at the top of the audio suite menu. And then go ahead and select the clip and select a little bit before the clip and hit reverse. And we can hear what that sounds like. Okay, perfect. Now, if you are working with a mono file, you can go ahead and still apply a reverse reverb or a reverse delay, but it's going to be a mono reverb. So I'm going to show you how to actually make it so that even a mono clip can have stereo, re, a stereo reverse reverb. So what I do is I will duplicate the clip. So I'm right clicking on the track name, choosing duplicate, and I'm just going to say OK. And then I'm going to create a stereo track. So you do that by going Track, New, choosing Stereo, hit Create. And I'm just going to take those two clips that were created by duplicating the mono file, and I'm just going to drag it down to the stereo tracks. So now I have still a mono file, but it's now in the left and the right channel, so it's set up so that I can make it stereo with applying the reverse reverb. And I'm going to go up to my audio suite and I'm going to pick a stereo reverb. So I want you to note that D-verb is not stereo, but um, if you have a, another third party plugin that is stereo, so for example, Renaissance Reverb is stereo, we're gonna select that and we will go ahead and Make sure we have multi-input mode selected. And I am going to also choose to have some of the dry signal still left in there so that it swells up to the final um, hit of the snare drum. So I'm going to just select a little bit of the area before the clip and I'm going to go ahead and render it with the reverse button and let's hear it back. And there you have it.